All right, well, I'm making this video from uh, Sonoma County, California, Northern California. We're about 70, 75 miles uh, north of San Francisco. Um, I'm at my parents' place here in the little town of Geyserville. Um, this is where I'm storing my trailer. I was very lucky that he has the room for me to be able to store this thing. Uh, and for those of you wondering, yes, I do have a Tundra that I'm towing this with. I know there's a lot of controversy with the half ton uh, pickups being able to tow these trailers. Um, anyway, I'm sure that's a, a discussion for another time. There's so many out there. So let's just get, go ahead with a quick little uh, tour of our Grand Design. So again, the model is the Grand Design Imagine. The MK or the, was it uh, 2670 MK. So here is our storage area. It goes all the way through. Very big, lots of room for a lot of stuff. This is the cable hookups. Looks like there's a 110 hookups here. Battery disconnect, city water valve, along with a fresh tank fill. Also comes with the hot and uh, cold water for outside showers. What I like about this, it has a hole here so you can bring up your hoses and your connections through underneath the trailer itself. So eventually, obviously, we're going to get a generator. We don't have one yet. Again, we just picked this rig up yesterday. Um, this is where, obviously, we'll keep it. Um, so by having those connections through there, it allows you to close these hatches um, and lock them up so that no one takes off with your cool generator. What I like about this is that it closes. Uh, you can lock it, of course. But when you open it, it comes with a magnet up there, you see, and it stays up. Freshwater tank fill if you're dry docking. Uh, I believe this is the black water tank flush uh, area, I believe. Let's go around the front. The awning is not all the way out. It goes out quite a bit, but I'm parked right next to this tree, so I don't want to ruin it already. This is the other side of the front compartment storage compartment uh, with all our stuff we still have to organize all of this stuff of course um, so on the outside it has two slides slide outs opposite of each other which gives us a lot of room inside i'll just show you this outdoor kitchen real quick two burner stove and outlet all the outlets are gfi protected this is a little outdoor fridge. You can put your sodas and drinks and whatnot, lunch. Um, this is connected through the propane. Sorry for that rooster. That's my dad's rooster in the back. I'm parked right next to the chicken coop. Um, so this you have to light with a match. It doesn't have a, a lighter igniter. Um, and the refrigerator only runs when it's connected to a uh, uh, source, um, a um, 110 electrical. Let's see here, what's this? Two more GFI plugs. What else? All right, let's go inside. So the first thing you're gonna see as you're walking in is this wall. I know there was a complaint about this because um, you can't really see anything as you're walking in, but you're only talking about two steps before you can actually see to your left and to your right. But this is the bathroom door. These are your connections here. This is your control panel. Pretty self-explanatory there. This is the bathroom. Pretty nice. Medicine cabinet, there's a couple of shelves there. Pretty roomy. Definitely enough room for when you're going away camping. I thought these were metal, but they're plastic. So something to consider changing, I'm sure. Lots of storage in here. These are little cubby holes. They go all the way to the back, the length of this, this wall here. Pretty big, decent bathroom. 
shower. I've heard a lot of bad things about these. Uh, very low water pressure, so we'll be more than likely upgrading to the oxygen oxygenics uh, shower head. I've heard all about all, a lot of good things. Toilet lights and the fan works. Take you into the bedroom real quick. The very first thing we did for the bedroom was we upgraded the mattress. Uh, we had a full queen size mattress that we had that we weren't using in our house, so we immediately changed it out last night. That was the first thing other people told us to do because the mattress, and we tried it too, it was just horrible, super hard, it's just not a good mattress at all. So this is a lot better. Can't wait to try it out. Storage on top. Looks like it's one, two full storage drawers. Each side has its own uh, little miniature closet. Goes pretty deep, pretty short, probably you know the length of a shirt or suit. One drawer, power plugs down here. Again, GFI protected. Same on the other side. You can see my dad's chickens on the other side of this trailer there. Closet on this side again also. Looks like some storage. That's where the top mattress is right now. Or the, the, the topper. We're changing that also. Two full drawers. They're really stuck in there. Fuse box down below. Another uh, GFI plug. And now for what honestly sold us for this particular trailer is all the counter space. Tons of counter space. Um, the TV is right here. I'm going to show that to you in a second. Uh, but lots of counter space right here. Big island. Desk in the back. I'll make my way around here. So these are reclining seats. Thomas Paine collection. They have a lever here that you pull. And it comes out and actually reclines almost all the way. You can pretty much almost lie down flat. So that makes it really nice. Here you have some controls. You have a light control. I know, some people like that. I think it's kind of silly. Uh, why they pick blue, I don't know. Uh, something I'll probably never use. The massage feature, try that. Uh, it's just a very minimal pulse. You can barely feel it. But what is nice is this heat. They're heated seats. It was a cold morning. I tried them this morning and they were great. So I really like that a lot. The dinette, probably my least favorite. And looking at some of the groups, uh, this seems to be the main point of contention of everybody. This turns into a bed. You can probably fit a normal sized person. Probably not too comfortable, but it is an option. A lot of people are going with the freestanding. I think that's something I would have done, but we didn't order this. We got it straight off the lot. It was what we wanted. So that's something we can live in or live with. It's not a big deal. The seats are kind of hard to sit in. You almost have to anchor your feet so you don't slide off of them. Uh, at least that was my experience, and I've heard the same thing of others. A lot of windows, big windows. It's my dad's chicken coop. Lots of natural light in here. It's fantastic. There's the, the rear end of the uh, trailer. It's a desk. Medium-sized refrigerator. Again, tons and tons of storage. Heidi has already been in here preparing, getting ready for our first trip out, which is not for another month. We're actually going away out of the country here in a few days. But she's been busy putting stuff away, getting it ready. Um, here's the island. Very nice sink. It's 
got the cover. I guess you turn it around. You can be you use it as a cutting board. But it's a deep wide sink, which makes it really nice. This pulls out. I'm not connected to water right now, so I can't show you that. But that makes it nice. This is way nicer than what I have in my own house. But the island is very big because of the two slide outs. You got a lot of room. I would honestly say you can probably have five or six people in here just hanging out in your kitchen, just having a good old time. Um, nice microwave. Three burner stove. This has a glass lid that doubles as a backsplash as you when you fold it up like this. Three burners. A small oven. Very small. Some people use them, some people don't. We're gonna try. Might as well. A lot of drawers on this side of the island. This is probably the biggest storage space we have, which is under the sink. Can't see it, it's a little dark. But all this storage, a lot of storage. There's the other side of uh, the kitchen, and there's the TV. That breaking bad was probably appropriate for this RV. Have it in the background. Uh, let me see here. So this TV sinks into into the um, counter. So when you're not using it, you can lower the TV and you have that much more counter space. Um, comes with the radio, DVD player, Blu-ray player, I believe is what the guy said. Um, has outdoor speakers and indoor speakers. Um, this is the fireplace. Puts out a lot of heat. Um, it was pretty cold this morning. I probably had this on for about an hour and it got it up to 70, 70 degrees inside this trailer this morning. So it was really nice. I'm not quite sure how to get rid of that Roku pop-up that keeps popping up. Hopefully by the time this video gets published, I would have figured it out by now. Wait, Heidi, like I said, Heidi's been busy. She got that clock and little coffee maker and waste disposal. Anyway, this is our rig. We haven't named it yet, but Heidi's already busy putting her touches on it. I like it a lot. We like it a lot. We're excited to try it. Again, we're super brand new. Uh, there's a whole lot we have to learn still. Um, we look forward to learning and getting out there. Thanks.